Ponder the path of thy feet. Proverbs 4.26 Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Take good heed to thy steps. We should think about where we walk. When the Bible talks about walking, in this sense, it is speaking of how we walk or live in this world. How we commune with God, or how we commune with others in this world. In the dark, when we are walking, it can be dangerous. We need to walk in wisdom and think about where we walk. What does it mean to ponder? It means to weigh in the mind, to consider and compare the circumstances or consequences of an event, or the importance of the reasons for or against a decision, to view with deliberation, to examine. So to ponder the path of my feet spiritually means that I weigh my decisions, I consider them, I compare the circumstances or consequences. One of the main faults of men are that we think rashly, or we don't think at all, and we just do. And we do not ponder, we do not weigh in the mind, we do not consider our actions. If you cannot stop and consider what you're going to do, or what you're planning to do, in the light of the scriptures, and make that decision, then you are making a bad decision. To view with deliberation, to examine, ponder the path of thy feet. This whole chapter is again dealing with walking in wisdom in this world, to keep us from evil, preparing ourselves for the world and its ways and its traps. In the Proverbs, they're being prepared. He is preparing someone for this world. Young Solomon was prepared for this world, though he failed many times. He was given all that he needed, but he did not take heed to it always. Preparing youth to navigate through a wicked world. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. In verse number 23 it says, Wisdom and instructions, we are to hide them in our hearts. Put away a perverse or a forward mouth. Perverse lips should not be among the children of God, but purity and righteousness. This helps shape my steps. It helps me to ponder the path of my feet. It directs my eyes to look right on. Oh, so they are not filled with lust after a woman or after what the world offers me. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, or the pride of life will not have hold of me. If we ponder, if we examine in our mind, the circumstances, the consequences of our actions, then we will be safe. If we have the commandment hid in our hearts as the law to live by, and we are determined to keep our hearts with all diligence, that we put a guard to keep evil from our hearts, a watchman on our hearts, then our steps will be established. We will walk the narrow way and not turn our feet to the right to be more severe than we need to be, nor to the left to compromise and be more liberal than we need to be. But we will stay the narrow way and keep our hearts. Ponder all thy paths. Yes, think, examine, weigh the consequences of actions, meditate, deliberate. Think of all the negatives and the positives. Think of what I do. Will it be done in the light of the Lord? Or hidden in the ways of darkness. If it is not light, then I will not do it. For it is not of God, it is of the night. This will keep our hearts and minds by the Holy Ghost. And we will turn, and we will not turn from the holy commandment of God. They are fresh in our hearts, and those commandments are written on our hearts so deeply that the engraving will never come off. They are part of our hearts to ponder the paths of our feet, hiding those commands keep us from evil and we consider them and we ponder them before we take too many steps 